Hey guys, so I am in the nursery right now of our baby girl and I wanted to do a name reveal for you all. I never made a clip in the hospital about what baby girl's name was and how we chose it and so I thought I would just tell you all about it um, in the nursery in her room. My husband and I have a really hard time picking names we actually waited until like 37 weeks <laughs> until we solidified a name and we had a first name picked out for a long time and it was really the middle name that we kind of had a hard time figuring out and it was actually my husband who came up with the middle name and I just fell in love with it. I had a lot of names that I loved that my husband was not crazy about. So some things, some names that we loved but didn't use were Emery, I love that name. I thought it sounded so flowery and pretty. I also really liked um, Maggie. I love the name Maggie. Anthony did not like that name. He said it sounded like a dog name. I also liked Marley. Again, he said it sounded like a dog name. So I liked a lot of names that ended in like that Y sound in the end. And I, I don't know why. I loved Aubrey. I love Audrey. Again, he was just not that crazy about any of those names. And then my husband liked weird, kind of just weirder names, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think if I can remember any of the names that he liked. My husband liked a lot of the shorter names. Um, actually, the middle name he really wanted as the first name, which is very true for our firstborn, Grayson. His middle name is Elliot. And Anthony really wanted his first name to be Elliot, but I didn't like that because I was worried that people would shorten it to Ellie, which is not a boy name. So put as a middle name. Um, baby girl's middle name, my husband wanted as a first name, but it's short. And I'm not crazy about short names for the first name because I like to be able to shorten it to things. So yeah, we, that's why we didn't go with that for the first name. But anyway, um, I think how I'm going to tell you guys about the name is I'm just going to show I got this name sign made. All of my kids have name signs. I think I made a vlog about it like a long time ago. I get it off Etsy House of Rounds and I just love how they look. And so I think I'll just show you guys um, her name sign and then that will just be the name reveal, I guess. So I'll show you. <laughs> so here's baby girl's room. We've got a dresser, changing pad, bookshelf, lots of stuffed animals, a nightstand, my brand new rocking chair, which I absolutely love, um, blankets, and then this is her crib. We love it. It's got flowers on it. It's just so pretty. And then here's her closet with all her bows, all her um, outfits, and then lots and lots and lots and lots of diapers. <laughs> so here we go. Here is baby girl's reveal. And there it is, Avery Brynn. That is what we decided to name our baby girl. So there you have it. Her name is Avery Bryn. Avery was just a name that Anthony and I liked. We don't really name our kids out of significance of anything. It's just names that we liked. And we've always really liked the name Avery. It's always been kind of in the back of our minds. Funny enough, if we would have, if our firstborn would have been a girl, if Grayson would have been a girl, we probably would have named her Charlotte. And then if Porter was a girl, we would have named her Mavis. And one of the names that I love that we didn't end up using was Maeve. I really like that name. But Maeve was short and we didn't know if we'd be able to shorten it to anything. And then we kind of circled back to Avery and just fell in love with it. Now, Avery is pretty short on its own. It is three syllables, which I think is why I like it so much. But you can't really shorten it that much. We do have nicknames for her. We call her Ave, Aves, just, you know, kind of shorter, but it's true. Her name is kind of short, but yeah, Avery is just a name that we love. So we love the name Avery. I think it's so pretty and flowery. I think it's a really pretty baby girl name, but then also like an adult 
name as well and then Bryn like I said before my husband Anthony actually came up with that name I just love that name Bryn um First of all, Avery and Bryn, you really don't hear those names anymore. I guess Avery is getting a little more popular. We actually had a one of our nurses, her name was Avery, which was super funny. But Bryn, never hear that name. And I don't know anyone named Avery either. So we like the uniqueness of her name. We also wanted to make sure, um, could we yell her name and it sounds good? So say Avery Bryn. And also, does it sound good like when she's walking across the stage to get like a diploma? So Avery Bryn, yes. And so we thought both of those sounded really good. And yeah, we just love her name. We think it's perfect for her. So I just wanted to make this video, show you guys her name sign. And that is our Avery Bryn. She was born March 30th, 2023. She was seven pounds four ounces, 21 and a half inches long, our tiniest baby, but also our longest baby. She was born at 6.40 p.m. and she's the light of our life. We just love her so much and we're excited to get to know her more, learn her personality, her likes and dislikes, and just watch her grow up and be there to guide her through life. So there is our name for baby girl and I hope you guys like it. <laughs> if you don't, oh well, that's her name. We already have her birth certificate, so it is official. And um, the boys love it. We actually sing her name to the song of Winnie the Pooh. I don't know why, it just like kind of clicked. My boys are super into Winnie the Pooh right now. And so we sing Avery Bryn. <laughs> <laughs> all the time we just sing it and um you know she does something that's you know a little mischievous which she can't do much because she's a newborn we always say Avery Bryn <laughs> and the boys have caught on to it and they love it and sometimes we'll call her by her middle name and just say Bryn that's mostly my husband really I call her Avery but yeah we just love her name and we are so lucky to have her in our lives so thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more baby vlogs and i'll see you guys next time bye